Understanding Diversity, Chapter 1 So, my name is Lam Gogon Waipei, or my nickname is Gogon, and I'm from Class 6A now. And look what we are reading. It is social science, social and political life. Uh, life uh, it's like Roman number, so maybe life one six two for class six. Or it is called the civics. So let's start the chapter. Look around you in the classroom. Do you see anyone who looks exactly like you do? In this chapter, you learn that people are different from each other mm -hmm. in many ways. Not only do they look different, but they might also belong to different regional, cultural, or religious backgrounds. These differences enrich our lives in many ways and also make them more fun. All these different people who come from all kinds of backgrounds and belong to all kinds of religions and cultures help to make India so interesting and so diverse. What does diversity add to our lives? How did India become like this? Are all kinds of difference a part of diversity? Can diversity also be a part of unity? Read this chapter to find some answers. So, three children around your age have drawn the figures above. Use the, M the empty box to draw your human figure. Is your drawing similar to any of the others? It is pronounced as the others, okay? I forgot. When is this well in the first look? Just like the, uh, the, the others, we pronounce as the others, not the others. But when we see the bird, we say the bird, not the bird. So let's continue. The chances that are that are that your drawing is quite different from the other three, which you can see are quite different from each other. This is because each only each one of us has a unique drawing style. We also not only we not only don't look exactly like each other, but also differ in terms of the language we speak, our cultural backgrounds. The religious rituals we observe, and of course, the way we draw. Let's learn to next page. Now, ask your teacher to help you check how many of you have similar answers. Is there anyone whose list matches yours exactly? Probably not, but many of you may have similar answers. How many like reading the same kind of books? How many different languages are spoken by the student if in your students in your class? But now you must have recognized the many ways uh, in which you are quite like some of your classmates and other ways in which you are different from them. Making friends. Do you think it will be easy for you to make friends with someone who was very different from you? Read the following story and think about this. I had meant it as a joke. A joke made up for a small ragged boy who sold newspapers at the jumper crossing at the busy intersection. Every time I saw it pass, he would run after me, holding out the English paper and screaming out the... Evening said like lines in a mixture of Hindi and English words. This time I stood by the pavement and asked for the Hindi paper. His mouth fell open. You mean you know Hindi? He asked. Of course, I said as I paid for the paper. Why? What did you think? He paused. But you look so so and great, he said. You mean you can even read Hindi? Of course I can, I said, this time a little impatiently. I can speak, read, and write Hindi. Hindi is one of the subjects I study in school. Subjects, he asked. 
How could I explain what a subject was to someone who had never been to school? Well, it is something. I became but the life changed and the honky behind me grew a hundredfold and I let myself be pushed along with the rest of the traffic. The next day he was there again, smiling at me and holding out the Hindi paper. Uh, but yeah, he said, Avka Akbar, Av Bataye, Ye subject kya chise. The English word sound is straight on his tongue. They sound like it's other meaning in English to be ruled by someone else. Oh, it's just something to study, I said. And then, and then because the red light had come on, I asked him, Have you ever been to school? Never, he answered. And he added proudly, I began working when I was so high. He measured himself against my cycle seat. First, I can start first. My mother used to come with me, but I can do it all alone. Where's your mother now? I asked, but then the last changed and I was off. I heard them little from somewhere behind me. She sent me route with the rest was drowned out. My name is Samir, he said the next day. And very shyly, he asked, What's yours? It was incredible. My bicycle wobbled. My name is Samir too, I said. What? His eyes lit up. Yes, I grinned at him. It's another name for Hanuman's father. And you know, so now you are Samir Ek and I'm Samir Do. He said, rampantly. Something like that, I answered and then I held out my hand. Hunt me low, Samir Do. His hand nestled in mine like a little bird. I could still feel its warmth as I saw it curled away. The next day, he did not have his usual smile for me. There is trouble in me, road, he said. Many people are being killed there in the roads. I looked at the headlights. Commun communal roads. It blazed. But Samir, I began. I am a Muslim Samir. I mean this communal riots. Riots. I mean riots. Wait. He said an answer. It blazed. But Samir, I began. I am a Muslim Samir. He said an answer. And all my people are mirrored. His eyes filled with tears and when I touched his shoulder, he will not look up. He was not at the crossing the day after, neither the day after nor even again, ever again. I know newspaper in English or Hindi can tell me where my Samir door has gone. Life changed by Poit Poil Poile Sengupta. While Samir Ek is more familiar with English, Samir Do speaks Hindi. Although they are bo born or more at home in different languages, they still communicated with each other. They made the effort to do so because this was this was what was important to them. Samir Ek and Samir Do also come from different religious and cultural backgrounds. While Samir Ek is a Hindu, Samir Do is a Muslim. Different religious and cultural backgrounds such as these are an aspect of diversity. Next page. In addition to their diverse religious and cultural backgrounds, there are other ways in which Samir Ek and Samir Do are different from each other. For example, when Samir Ek goes to school, Samir Do sells newspapers. Discuss. Why do you think Samir Do did not attend school? Do you think it would have been easy for him to attend school if he wanted to? In your opinion, is it a fair situation that some children get to go to school and others don't? Samir Do did not have the opportunity to attend school. Perhaps you noticed that there are several people in the area where you live who are poor and who don't have enough to eat or wear and sometimes not even a place to live. 
this difference is not the same as it was we have seen earlier. <coughs> there we are talking not of difference but of inequality. In an equality comes about when a person does not have the resources and opportunities that are available to other persons. The caste system is another example of inequality. Inequality. According to this, the society was divided into different groups depending upon the work that people did and they were supposed to remain in those groups. So if your parents were potters and you could only become a potter, nothing else. This system was considered irreversible. Yes. And, be and because you were not supposed to change your profession, it was not considered necessary for you to know anything more than what you needed in your profession. This created a situation of inequality. You will read more about this and other inequalities in the following chapters. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. What are diversity add to our lives? Just like Samir and Samir do became friends, you might have friends who are very different from you. You have probably eaten different kinds of food in their house, celebrated different festivals with them, try out the clothes they wear, and learn some of their languages as well. You probably like reading and hearing stories and adventures about different... Uh, about different... Uh, animals, people, and even ghosts. Perhaps you, you even enjoy making up stories yourself. Many young people feel happy when they read a good story because it gives them lots of ideas to make up more stories. People who write stories get their, get their ideas from all sorts of different places, from books and real life and from their imagination. So me, I live in forest close to animals and choose to write how their fights and friendships. Others read real accounts of kings and queens and wrote stories about love and honor. Some dive into their own childhood memories of school and friends and wrote stories of adventure. Imagine if all the storytellers and writers that you have heard and read so far Red so far, we are forced to live in a place where all people wore the same two color, colors, red and one, ate the same food, maybe potatoes, took care of the same two animals, for example, the deer and the cat, and to entertain themselves, place, played snakes and ladders. What kind of stories do you think they will write? <sighs> Diversity in India. India is a country of many diversities. We speak different languages, have various types of food, celebrate different festivals, practice different religions. But actually, if you think about it, we do many things that are similar, except that we do them in different ways. How do we explain diversity? A little more than 200 years ago or long before the train, aeroplane, bus or car became a part of our lives, people traveled from one part of the world to another in ships, on horses, on camels or on foot. Next page. Often they went in search of new lands or new places to settle in or for people to trade with. And because it took so long to travel, once they got to a place, people stayed there often for a long time. Uh, many others left their homes because they were famished and dry and they could not get enough to eat. Some men in search of work while others left because there was a war. So that's, as they began to make their homes in new places, people began to change a little and at other times they managed to do things in the old ways. So their languages, food, music, religions become a mix of the old and the new and out of this interest in their mixing of cultures came something new and different. The history of many places shows us how many different 
cultural influ influence have helped to shape life and culture there. Thus, reasons became very diverse. Reasons became very diverse because of their unique histories. Similarly, diversity also comes above when people adapt their lives to the geographical areas in which they live. For example, living near the sea is quite different from living in a mountainous area. Not only do people have different clothing and eating habits, but even the kinds of work they do are different. In cities, it is often easy to forget how closely people live or tie to their physical surroundings. Not only because the vegetable Vegetable. Then, because in the city, people seldom grow grow their own vegetables and greens. Instead, they depend on the market to buy all the food and other goods that they needed. I mean, they need. Let us try to understand what we mean when we say that historical and geographical factors influence the diversity of a region. We can do this by reading about life in two. Different parts of the country, Kerala and Ladakh. Ladakh is a desert in the mountains in the east of Jammu and Kashmir. Very little agriculture is possible here since this region does not receive any rain and is covered in snow for the last part of the year. There are very few trees that can grow in the region. For drinking water, people depend on the melting snow during the summer months. People are keep, keep sheep and goats. The goats in this region are special because they produce pasmina wool. This wool is priced and pasmina is sold or sold cost a lot of money. The people in Ladakh carefully collect the wool of the of the goats and sell this to traders from Kashmir. Pashmina souls are chiefly woven in Kashmir. The people eat meat and milk products like tea and butter. Each family owns some goats, cows, and deer, yak, cows. Being a, a desert did not mean that Ladakh did not attract a share of traders. It was considered a good trade route as it had many passes through which Caravans travel to what today is called Tibet. What today called Tibet? These caravans carry textiles and spices, raw silk and carpets. So next page. Let's see what is after next page. Oh, it's done after next page. It's long, right? We just do eighteen and twenty seconds. Look. Or maybe it's down because you are watching YouTube. I'm feeling so thirsty. <coughs> oh, somebody slapped me. Just kidding. Buddhism reached Tibet via Ladakh. Ladakh is also called Little Tibet. Islam was introduced in this region more than 400 years ago, and th there is a significant Muslim population here. Ladakh has a very rich oral tradition of songs and poets. Local version sons of the Tibetan national epic, the Kesar Sagar, are performed in Sung by both Muslims and Buddhism. Kerala is a state in the southwest corner of India. It is surrounded by the sea on one side and hills on the other. On the other, a number of places like paper clothes and garden mooms are grown on hills. It is spices that made this region. To, uh, an attractive place for traders 
Jewish and a lot creators were the first to come here. The apostle of Christ, St. Thomas, is believed to have come here nearly 2,000 years ago. And he is credited with bringing Christianity to India. Uh, many other traders also came and settled down here. In wait, uh, wait. It it pronounced as Ibn Batuta, uh, who traveled here a little less than seven hundred years ago. A uh, travelogi in which he describes the lives of Muslims and said that they were. We a highly respected community. The Portuguese discovered the sea road to India from Europe when Vasco da Gama landed with his ship here. Actually, you have a Vasco da Gama in fifth grade, right? You're right. Okay. Because of all these various historical influence, people in Canada pre- these a uh, different reason such as the Judaism Judaism or Judaism. Tell me in the comments how do you pronounce it? Islam, Christianity, Hinduism and Buddhism. The fishing nets used here look exactly like the Chinese fishing nets and are called Chinawala. Even the utensil used for frying is called the China China Chati. Chati. And it is believed that the word Chin could have come from China. I think Chin is a Chinese word. Chati is like Hindi word or something. The fertile land and climate are suited to grow uh, are suited to growing to rice and the majority of people here eat rice fish and vegetables. Uh, yeah. While Kerala and Ladakh are quite different in terms of their geographical features, the history of both regions have has seen similar cultural influence. Both regions were influenced by Chinese and Arab traders. It was the geography of Kerala which allowed for the cultivation of spices and the special geographical location of Ladakh and its wool that drew traders to these regions. Thus, history and geography are often tied in the cultural life of a region. The influence of diverse cultures is not merely a thing of the past. Our present lives are all about moving from place to place for work and with each move our cultural traditions and way of life slowly becoming be, I mean become part of the new place we are in. Um, similarly in our own neighborhoods which we live close to people f- from several communities. Our daily lives are about the ways in which we do things together and hear stories about each other's lives, customs, and traditions. Unity in diversity. India's diversity has always been recognized as a source of its strength. When the British ruled India, women and men from different cultural, religious, and regional backgrounds came together to oppose them. India's freedom movement had thousands of people of different backgrounds in it. They worked together to decide joint access, they went to jail together, and they found different ways to oppose the British. Interestingly, the British thought that thought they could divide India, Indians because they were so different and then continue to rule them. But the people showed how they could be different and yet be reunited in their battle against the British. Don't forget the days of blood offering. Elements of your heaven has remembered to shed a tear for us. The hunter has thrown away every single flower. New plant of flower in the desert garden, dear friend. Have 
Having fallen to bullets, we slept in Jalian Wala Bhag. Do light the lamp on, on this lonely grave offering. The blood of Hindus and Muslims flows together today. Those of Europe in this river of blood, dear friend, some rot in jails while others lie in their graves. You said a few tears for them, oh friend. In the end, People's Trader Association, IP, short form IAPTA. I don't know the song of this. It's, you know, I don't know the song of this. So that's why I'm using my rhyme, ribs, or rhymes. And but this we pronounce as rims. So I hate so I had Christian Renato. He's looking very ugly. Even though he is handsome but I got glam and I'll miss him more because he's a god. The song was sung after the Jalian Wala about massacre. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, it is the one of Massacre. It pronounced Massacre. Massacre in Amrit Star, in which a British general opened fire on a large group of unarmed, peaceful people, killing many and wounding even more. <coughs> Men and women in the silks and mus- Sikhs and Muslims, maybe rich and poor, ha- had gathered to protest against the British. Tell me the pronunciation of S I K H S. This one. This song was composed and sung to honor the memory of those brave people. I'll read again from uh, men and women, Hindu, Sikh, and Muslim, read and put her guitar to protest against the British. This song was composed and sung to honor the memory of those brave people. I did not remember where I started, that's why I did it again. Uh, where should I start? Oh, where should we start? I wait a bit. We should start from left to right because we write from left to right. So we must start from left. Very genius. Songs and yes, songs and symbols that emerge during the freedom struggle serve as a constant reminder of our country's rich tradition of. Respect for diversity. Do, do you know the story of the Indian flag? who was used as a symbol of resistance against the British by people everywhere. In this book, the discovery of India, Jawaharlal Nehru said that India uni- Indian unity is not something imposed from the outside, but rather it was something deeper and within its fall, the why there's Tolerance of beliefs and custom was practiced in every variety, acknowledged and even encouraged. There was Nehru who coined the phrase unity in diversity to describe the country. India's national anthem, composed by Rabin Ranat Tagore, uh, is another expression of the unity of the unity of India. In what ways does the national anthem describe this unity? So tell me in a comment what does. What is the answer of this? Okay. So we are leaving. So thanks for watching. Legion Gugun Gamer Boy or in short, you can type Gun Kai. So bye bye.